Hi guys, good morning, Monday morning. Welcome to Matt Bayeski YouTube channel. Welcome to the Pure Energy Healing Academy. We're on the go here today working on um, a beautiful selection of crystals that I've been working on and also packing, getting ready to, uh, to get off to Bali. So I'm gonna see you in Bali as well in the next few days. Uh, I'll do some videos there and we'll have a chat and we'll have a, a talk about how Bali is becoming, what it's like, what it feels like. So it should be fun. I hope you can join me there. I'm pretty excited as well. Okay, so what's this morning about? Um, I've been getting messages through the week about um, you want to learn more about crystals. Well, of course, um, Matt Bayeski new um, membership site, the Lighthouse membership is coming soon. And that will be predominantly about learning uh, in-depth um, topics, and one of them is crystals. But today, I'll I'll give you an idea of what I've learned over the years with crystals, and one of the crystals that helped me when I first touched this crystal, which was uh, I think about eight years ago, seven years ago. It really made a difference in my life. It was a quite profound crystal. And uh, I work with it ever since, and um, I work with it with clients even today. And I'm going to show it you now. So, I think one of the messages were, "How do I get myself out of difficult situations?" And um, and that's an interesting question. How do you get yourself out of um, challenging uh, situations? Um, you know when you're really stuck and you don't know how to move forward and. It's that kind of energy that a lot of people are stuck in because they can't move forward towards their true path, their true journey because of issues and problems and all of the things like if you've ever heard me speak about it before, it's like uh, your grandma's jewellery box. Do you remember that? All the jewellery, one lot of jewellery were all knotted up together and it was all like so difficult to pull apart and I kind of see our life tends to get like that from time to time and then we come along and try and pull everything apart because we think we can do it and because we're so excited and full of energy that we start working on trying to pull all of this um, jewelry which is all intertwined and, and tangled up and we try and try until our energy gets absolutely exhausted and then we throw them back in the jewelry box and go off because we just can't do it. I kind of see life like that sometimes you know I think we all are that kind of jewelry box filled with lots of different types of jewelry all into wine they're all our issues and problems and sometimes it's really hard to pull ourselves out of that well one of the crystals that i found really worked and helped and that is because of its energy that blasts is i'm just i just took one from the website and i'm going to show it you now this is root uh, five this is number five root five um, so have a look at it. I'm going to hold my hand up to it so you can see it carefully. Can you see how beautiful that is? Can you see how, if you look very carefully, you see almost like little lines in black within the crystal? Well, this is, um, I want to welcome you to Rutilated Quartz. And rutilated is, they do uh, different types. It grows in, in different colors. You get golden rutilate and many other types. But this is my favorite, the, um, the beautiful color against that. Isn't it gorgeous? So when you look at, um, let's go back to how I saw things, okay? I think I was so blinded when I was um, younger than 38. I didn't see anything. Um, because I was too busy looking at life in a completely different way. And when I turned 38, I had no choice but to look at life in the way that it was. It was reality check. And I started seeing um, the bigger picture. And what that means is, and I'll give you a for instance, you start to see signs. And then you realize that this beautiful world, this synchronistic, amazing attunement to what we do and who we are and where we are and what we do in life what we eat what we see what we feel you know who we meet all of these things are, are a bigger picture i call it a bigger picture and the signs are within that bigger picture and how do i put this best okay i'll, I'll give you a for instance i 
I got to hear about a really amazing man <clears throat> called Don Tolman. And Don talks about these signs, um, but he talks about them in a slightly different way than how I see things now. But it's great because he sees signs in Mother Nature. And what that means is, everything that Mother Nature grows is a sign. And if we can recognize that sign, it can help us. So, if you take a fruit and you look at that fruit and ask yourself what that fruit reminds you of. So, if you take a, a walnut and crack it open and look at that fruit and ask, uh, look at that nut and ask yourself, what does that remind me of? And if you look at it carefully, you can see it looks like your brain. So then you realize that nuts are good for the brain. And when your brain's healthy, it means your emotions are healthy, what your thoughts are healthy, and you can use your brain correctly. If you get a carrot and chop a carrot in half and look at it, it looks like an eye. So carrots are good for your eyes and on and on. Now, these are the signs. Now, the way I see signs are slightly different. So back in the days when I used to have groups of people, we used to go for walks. They were my clients and we'd go on a workshop, a spiritual workshop. So we'd go into Mother Nature and I'd ask everybody, if you see a flower that you like, tell me and point at it. So we'd go on a walk and somebody would say, Mark, this one resonates with me, I feel it. So I'd sit down on the floor with them and I would read the flower. And I could see in that flower their life. I could read that flower and they would be crying saying, how do you know about that? How do you know when I was 13, something traumatically happened to me and I didn't see my, my dad? And Because I said, I see it in the flower. I see it in the stem. I see it in the leaves. So I got to connect my higher intuition with everything. And I began to see things in different eyes. And then one day, a lady placed a crystal in my hand. And I knew nothing about it. But as I was working, I kept this crystal in my pocket. And eventually, um, I took this crystal out and put it down on a table. And a little girl picked it up. And uh, a couple of weeks later, her mother said that this little girl, since touching that crystal and keeping it, had, um, all her night terrors had disappeared. And you start to think, wow, there's something in all of this, what's happening around us, the bigger picture. So I've learned to look at life, to step back and see things. So when Mother Nature gives us a crystal like this, which we call rutilated quartz, it's just a name, but it's a crystal that shows us. And when we look at it, it's not tangled. Each fine, beautiful black line that you see is perfectly placed in its own place. It's not tangled, it's not twisted. It's perfectly in its place. The clearness of this crystal is a representation of how we can see clearly in life. So when you hold a rutilated quartz, it helps you see clearly. And when you see and look into the rutilated quartz, you can see those lines means that all your issues and all your problems are going to be resolved and it's all going to be fine. So I see crystals in a completely different way than other people see them because they give me a sign. They speak to me. And when I hold a crystal, I feel them. And the rutilated quartz, when you hold it in your hand, you can feel instantly. My stomach now is starting to separate. 
any issues, any emotions are starting to untangle. And I'm feeling a sense of freedom, but more so I can breathe easier. And I can feel my stomach now to the left hand side doing somersaults. Now the right hand side is starting to hurt just here. Now if it hurts, that's a positive. It means something is working to clear that twisted and tangled energy or emotion. We call them blocks, but I can feel it now. My stomach is working like crazy and I almost feel like I want to be sick a little bit. I think I'm not going to be sick, but I feel like there's um, there's like air wanting to come out, so there's a block. So now whatever's happening, I can feel from this crystal is sending a shock wave down to my stomach and is clearing that energy. Do you see how crystals work? Look, you're always going to get people who are blinded to magic because they're too busy working or living in grief. Because you watch these videos, you're learning to untangle your life from grief and from having proof and needing proof. That was me. So I have every sympathy with anybody who ever says, well, there's no proof. I don't believe in that. I need physical proof that there's such things as, you know, spirit world. I need proof that crystals work, blah, blah, blah. And, and even if you gave them proof, which I often do through scientific proof that, you know, crystals are used for computers of the highest um, companies and, you know, uh, gems have always been put into pocket watches because they help bring the balance there. So, you know, crystals are used for many things. And we know that our ancient times crystals were used for. Um, um, Don Tolman talks about the singing bowls. I think he sells them, which has a certain hurt that when you put fruit inside that bowl and play the bowl, it enhances the fruit and vibrates it to a, an amazing energy level. So when you eat the fruit, it's alive and and so on, you know, we can go even further back. We can talk about the ancients that used to use crystals. And when you think about it, what do you think's on top of a queen's head and a king's head? It's not just a crown, there are jewels, but they're not just jewels. They knew a long time ago that the frequency in jewels, in crystals, have a vibration that is immense and it is so powerful. So I don't need to prove anything. What I do though, is I try and share my um, my understanding, my feeling with you. And I try and help you along a journey to try and heal your journey and try and strengthen your journey to find your happiness because ultimately happiness is important. Therefore, my videos are always about how to protect yourself, how to clear your energy, how to strengthen yourself and raise your vibration so you're not in the energy of negativity and darkness. Because once you can raise yourself up out of that, even if it's for one moment, you'll always carry that thought and that feeling within you. And that will be your measuring stick for the rest of your life. So me, when I reached my point where I had so much happiness when I was sat down in a circle and I felt um, this man come forward, his face, and I saw him and I and I told everybody and they said, wow, this is the man that we're, um, we're healing. And, and the, you know, I was so taken aback that there must be something in this. There must be something more than eating, drinking, sleeping and working. And I think it was that point when I set off on a journey to try and find who I truly am. And I am here now sat down saying to you that I found a small part of who I am that I never thought I'd ever find. And I want to share that with you and I want you to find that part. And that part is your higher self, your intuition. And once you find the key to that and you open that door, you will live and you will work in your heart for the rest of your life. Of course you'll fall, but you'll get back up quicker. Of course you will be in issues where you don't want to be, but you'll resolve them quicker. Of course you will feel grief and pain, but you will feel better quicker. And that's what I want for you every day. And that's why I share my path with you every day. I share my down days, I share my happy days, I share my crazy days. Because like you, we're exactly the same. 
you're my brother and sister. I hope you've got something from this today. And I hope if you come across a shop and you see rutilated quartz, that maybe you might just hold it in your hand and send me a message and see how it feels to you. I'm always interested. Have a great day, guys, from my heart to yours. Take care.